Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Melbourne Shine of Remembrance. Today, we are commemorating the 79th anniversary of the formation of Number 5 Airfield Construction Squadron. And I welcome those who are present here today and those who are viewing online to the Shine and do so on behalf of the Board of Trustees and the President of the uh, Committee, Chairman of the Committee. The Airfield Construction Squadron, number five Airfield Construction Squadron, is a highly significant unit for the Royal Australian Air Force, the longest serving airfield construction unit in the Air Force. Started in 1942 and finally disbanded in 1974, sometime after I was able to serve with them, having joined after that. However, their legacy goes on with the uh, airfield construction engineers, and I have served with many of those, particularly overseas. Hard-working people, very earnest in what they do, exceptional tradesmen, and all of them with a great sense of humour. Uh, I've been very honoured to have served with them. So I welcome today those who are here and those who are watching as we commemorate the service of those who have served with Number 5 ACS. First thing I will do is to call the Shrine Guard to mount. Shrine Guard, mount. And I welcome today's Master of Ceremonies, Ian. Thank you. Good morning and welcome. Today, along with the Shrine of Remembrance, we acknowledge the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people as the traditional custodians of the land on which we honour Australian servicemen and women. And we pay our respects to elders, elders past, present and emerging. Good morning and welcome to this, our 79th anniversary service of the formation of Number 5 Airfield Construction Squadron, Royal Australian Air Force. It is now two years since we were able to assemble here at the Shrine and our numbers continue to thin. We have two remaining World War II veterans in Victoria, Leon Bloom and Max Cooksley, who are 98 and 97 respectively, and whilst unable to be with us today, I'm sure they are here with us in spirit. Since we last assembled, we have lost two members, being John Snowy Moore, World War II, John Burton, Vietnam, and also we lost Lorraine Arnott, the wife of our President David Arnott. All are sadly missed and our thoughts are with them and their families. Thank you, Ian. The squadron affectionately known as the Flying Shovels served with distinction with the formation of 1942 to disbandment in 1974. During World War II, the squadron served throughout the Southwest Pacific area and afterwards with the British Commonwealth Occupation Forces in Japan. Post World War II, the squadron served in Thailand, Vietnam, and throughout mainland Australia. I'd like to read the opening prayer. Lord God, we gather here today to remember those who gave their lives in the service to this great nation of ours. We especially remember those who served in the Royal Australian Air Force and in particular, our number five airfield construction squadron comrades. We commend to your mercy not only those who lost their lives during the war, but also those who have since passed away. 
We pray for all those who currently serve our nation in the defence and peacekeeping forces. We ask this in the name of your dear Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. I now call on Verna to lay the wreath, please. They grow not old as we who are left grow old. Age shall not weary them nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning we will remember them. lest we forget. to read the closing prayer. Dear Lord God, help us to one of those who made so great a sacrifice by dedicating ourselves to the cause of justice, freedom and peace. 
Help us to assist and comfort those in the need in your Son, Jesus Christ's name. Amen. That concludes our service today. Thank you so much for the shrine, the governors and guard for facilitating the service and thanks for being with us today. Thank you so much. Shrine guard, dismount.